Now that we've gotten the iPad out of our box and it's unwrapped and ready to go, we're going to power it up and start to use it. The first thing that we need to do is set up the iPad. And there's a whole process or a series of questions that you have to answer as you go through the setup process. And if you're somebody who has not used VoiceOver with an iPad product before, this might be something that's a little difficult for you. So you may want to enlist the help of another person in your life who's used VoiceOver or even somebody who um, has some vision that, that can assist you with the setup process. To turn on the iPad, we press the power button and hold it for at least three seconds. The Apple symbol appears in the center of the screen and at some point this Apple symbol dissolves and the word iPad appears. After giving the iPad several seconds to power up, we're going to press the home key three times in rapid succession to turn voiceover on. Voiceover on. VoiceOver is now active, so I'm just going to scroll to see what's going on on the screen. I'm using flicking and navigation techniques that we're going to be covering later in this course. I'm just going to move through the screen so I can see what's going on. The first thing you'll hear is... iPad. Image. Right, and then if I flick to the right... Slide or double tap. Okay, so that second little bit that's it spoken in English, slide or double tap, gives me an indication that that's where I need to go. <laughs> And I don't know why Apple has set it up so that this starts speaking in a different language on this particular um, element, but there you have it. So I'm going to double tap with my finger. Set up. Location services. So the first screen that we encounter is the location services screen. And as I go through the various screens in this process, I'm actually going to flick through them so that the iPad itself provides a lot of explanation on what each of these screens is for. And if there's anything that I need to add, I'll, I'll add that as we go along. But predominantly, it's the iPad that's going to be doing most of the talking here. So I'm going to flick. This is the location services screen. Next. Dim. Button. Okay, the next button is always at the top, and when it says dimmed, it means it's not available. So that means there's something on this page that I need to do before that button becomes available and I can move to the next screen. Empty list. Location services allows maps and other apps to gather and use data indicating your approximate location. Enable location services. Disable location services. What is location services? Button. Okay, so you see there's three buttons here, enable, disable, enable and disable location services, and then another button that allows me to get more information on what location services is. But basically, um, what it described is what it is. So I'm going to enable it. Disa enable location services. And I'm going to do that by double tapping. Selected. Enable location services. Okay. So after I do that, I'm going to flick to the next button. Location next button. Right, and double tap to move to the next screen. Wi-Fi networks. Back. Back button. The next one is Wi-Fi networks. The iPad wants to connect immediately to Wi-Fi so that it can have a signal. What it'll do at some point is ask me for my account ID and password. And for anybody who's using Apple products, at some point you're going to encounter iTunes or the App Store, during which you'll have to create an Apple ID and password so that you can download apps. Otherwise, you won't be able to do that. So we're going to move through this screen and log into a Wi-Fi network. Okay, so there's a bunch of different networks that are available Set. here. Secure. I'm actually going to log into the Baruch Wi-Fi network, and we'll proceed from this screen. Set up. Baruch Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi strength 93%. Okay, so to select it, I'm going to double tap. So this is where... I'm going to be putting in my username and password for our particular Wi-Fi network and where you would be putting in your username and password for your network depending on whatever settings might be in your local provider. Now that I've logged into my Wi-Fi network, I'm going to move to the next button and double tap it to move to the next screen. Button. Apple ID. Back. Back button. Here's where the device asks me to put in my Apple ID and password so that I can log into my account with iTunes and with the Apple Store. Apple ID heading. Your Apple ID is used to set up iCloud, App Store, iTunes Store, and more on your iPad. A panning display of iOS app icons. Sign in with an Apple ID button. Create a free Apple ID button. What is an Apple ID button? Skip this step button. Okay. If 
you have an Apple ID, you can log in using your Apple ID. If you don't have one, you can create one, or you can actually skip this step and do it at a later time. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip this step and just move to the next step, okay? What is skip this step button? Okay, I'm gonna double tap. Alert, are you sure? You must have an Apple ID to use the App Store, iTunes Store, iCloud, and other services. Creating one is free and easy. You must have an Apple ID to use the skip button. Okay, I'm going to double tap on the skip button. Terms and conditions. Empty list. The next page is the Apple Terms and Conditions Agreement. You should take the time to read this. It is an extensive document, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to find the agree button, which should be towards the lower right corner of the page. Agree button. And I'm going to double tap on that. Alert. Terms and conditions. I agree to the iOS terms and conditions. Okay. I agree to the iOS terms and cancel. Agree button. Dictation. The next page is for dictation. The new iPad comes with a dictation feature so that on the keyboard there's a little microphone that you can double tap and when the device dings, you can start speaking to it and when you're done, you double tap again and it translates what you said into a piece of text. And it's pretty cool and we'll be demonstrating that at a later time, but I want that, so. Use dictation button. So we wanna use dictation. I wanna see what other options are on the screen, so let's see. Don't use dictation. Don't button. use dictation. Dictation sends information like your voice input and contacts to Apple to process your request. Okay, there we go. About dictation and privacy button. Okay, and I'm gonna actually click on use dictation. So I'm gonna move back to that button. Dict don't use, use dictation button. Double tap. Selected. Use dictation. And I'm gonna look, go find the next button. Double tap on that now. When you tap next button. Diagnostics. Don't send button. Help Apple improve its products and services by automatically sending daily diagnostic and usage data. Diagnostic data may include location information. About diagnostics and privacy button. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, click on send. Help, don't send, automatically send button. Or, or rather automatically send, and I'm gonna double tap on that. Selected, automatically send. And we're gonna move back and find the next button. Diagnostic next button. Double tap. Thank you, heading. Thank you. Your iPad is now set up. You're ready to start using the most advanced iOS ever. iPad checklist showing all steps complete. Image, start using iPad. Button. Here, I'm at the start using iPad. Let's see if there's anything beyond that. Nope, that's the last thing on, on the screen. So after I double tap this, we're gonna go into our new iPad environment and ready to use it. Messages. Double tap to open. Here we are on the home screen for the first time. That completes the setup. Pretty simple, huh?